should have bombed didn't have all these either. Major bomb. Hi y'all. Um, I know no Patricia, relax. I'm not sh I'm not putting the camera on you. Just relax. Just chill out. Hi everybody. I miss y'all. Just saying hi. How you doing? So this month has I'm not putting the camera on you. I'm with Patricia. Um we're in another state. Hi Danielle, how you doing? Oh wow, thank you. Me and Patricia are good. We're here in uh Chi Town, as they call it. Yeah, seven seven seven, yeah. There's so much deeper things that I wanna teach on that. I did get a lot of um feedback from the Lord Himself <laughs> that um I needed to slow down. I started getting like dreams that I was moving too fast, whether it be in ministry or career. Um, I wasn't sure, so I needed to like um, go off offline. I was um, uh, at the end of July. I did 888 and 88 and all that, and I told you guys what it meant. That it somewhat meant sanctification, um, a prophetic event. These twins are having a prophetic again event. Hakeem and Naeem Collins. I don't know if you heard of them, but I don't really follow them, but um, I think it's just an excuse for Patricia to visit Chicago. So I asked the Lord and he said two by two. <laughs> so I was like, all right, Lord, I hope that was you. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm going to go with her. So I did pray about it because uh, I didn't feel it was necessary. <laughs> at all um but it should be great i just pray that we get what we need whatever it is that we're supposed to get from here um we just want some chicago pizza it's a short trip amen pray for us um so i was saying at the end of july um i did 8 8 88 i think that was one of my last scopes on my last scopes and I knew very clearly God was saying to sanctify, sanctify yourself, get get by yourself, get quiet, hear me, you know, for the next move. And I said all of that on the thing. I didn't even remember that August was 8 because I was doing it in July. I wasn't, it was because I kept seeing 88 a lot and 888. So I wasn't paying attention to the fact that August was um, the 8th month. But, no, we didn't drive. We took the plane. Oh, my God. We got to talk about that. We took Spirit. We think Spirit Airlines got a spirit. Spirit Airlines got a spirit. Oh, my Jesus. So, Patricia booked her stuff first. And because she was already planning on going, I guess, I was just like, all right, Lord, if, if I'm going, I guess I'll go on the same plane. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it wasn't as bad as I thought once I got there, but all the horror stories on YouTube is enough to kind of deter you. You know, they charge for everything. They charge you to print your boarding pass. <laughs> so if you don't know that, and it's your first time flying with them like I did, and, sh and she did too, it's her first time too, then you're going to be screwed at the airport. You don't want to, um, yeah, check baggage and all that carry-ons cost and it costs even more up to the day that you're close to the day that you're flying so it could cost a hundred dollars at the gate if you don't get it before okay thank you joshi um yeah i'll i'll be doing scopes again when um when the lord leads me to because i started like i said i started getting a lot of dreams about i'm moving too fast i'm moving kind of before the lord and i wasn't sure which one it, which i do a lot of different things um whether it's concerning ministry um or career advisement and stuff like that so i wasn't sure what i was moving fast on 
but I was, you know, into definitely into making things happen, you know, and I was doing a lot of things quickly, but I was like, I got to make something happen, Lord. Um, but that's not what he wanted. He doesn't want me to move too fast. So I took a chill pill and there was a lot of warfare too. Warfare. You know, anytime you speak on certain things on Periscope, you release certain things in the atmosphere, you do have to pray more. And I needed to pray more. Um, probably before I got on, which is what I was told by this apostle, pray more. Anytime you're doing ministry stuff, I really didn't consider myself doing ministry stuff when I came on here. But it is serious like that, I guess. So, um, yes. You ready to start now, Danielle? Are you ready? I'm, I'm happy that you're ready to finally start. And, yeah, you, you definitely got to pray up a lot because witches do come in your broadcast and stuff like that. And sometimes the Holy Spirit has led me to pray against that when they come in. But um, you just got to cover yourself in the blood of Jesus anytime you're doing broadcasts. And I learned, I learned a lot of lessons in this last a month and a half that um, I've been away. I think it's a half now or two months almost. And um, I feel refreshed in the Lord. I was going through a lot of like mind warfare, like a lot of battles, you know, is. Um, also battle I did with the internet is my friend okay mm, okay we'll see probably need to tweak a little something something um you know there's battles of the mind right so there's unbelief sometimes um the devil comes against you and makes you think like the Lord's not gonna do it you know it's taking so long the Lord's not gonna Oh, okay, no, that's probably just a technical issue or Wi-Fi issue. Um, but, like, when things come like that and it's strange with scopes and video stream live streaming, I would just find the powers of the air coming against my scope. That's what I usually, that's my prayer usually before scopes, you know, before those scopes that I did. But apparently I wasn't even praying enough, so... Um, before and after them so I take them so much more seriously now and I think that I um, mean I always felt like I was led to come on scopes or, any, or everything like that but I think there were a lot of things that I was jumping ahead and the Lord was showing me that in my dreams and visions and uh, I don't I, I, I got scared <laughs> I was like oh no Lord uh, I got mad scared it's like I was going through stages I was upset. I was like, okay, Lord, well, I I have to get this, you know, d different things done. Which which one do you want me to slow down on? Is it is it, you know, career stuff, all the things I'm doing with, you know, the business or is it, you know, helping people with their career? You know, because sometimes God wants to do something for them and you don't want to jump ahead and be trying to um, do things for people that the Lord didn't intend. So I just didn't know which one it was. So I stopped everything, y'all. Like, I stopped everything because that's how serious my relationship is with the Lord. I can't, I can't, um, you know, I get a little mad. And I feel like I'm sassing sometimes. Like, well, what you want me to do, Lord? Like, what, you know, I can't really sass the Lord, right? But... You know, you get in that mode where you're upset. You feel like almost resentful. Like, well, how am I going to make this happen if I don't do it? Oh, okay, Daniel. If I don't do it myself. Yeah, pray pray for me. Anytime you don't see me, just pray for me. Just drop my name. Just a little added, added to your prayer. Um, because it's it's been tough. You know, also been working out and stuff like that. Trying to get back on track with that. Um, and the Lord really had me slow down and look at what is important in my life right now. And so, you know, I, I, I continue doing some things lightly, just a little bit, helping people a little bit here and there. 
But I was moving, I really was moving fast doing things for the business. Oh, okay, amen, amen. Um, and I hadn't been on social media, any other social media, a lot really. You know, WWA people maybe I talked to, but not. Like recently I came back and I'm talking to WWA people. But um, not not really a lot. So, you know, that's something to think about and consider that when you keep getting the same kind of dream and it's alluding to the same um, um, theme or idea, like moving too fast, like driving off a bridge and like you're watching yourself like me where I was watching myself and my angel was standing there and I was like, hey, she's going too fast. It was a jagged, narrow bridge. Or like you're having, um, what do you call that? Premature, premature labor. You know, that was one of my other dreams, you know. Um, so you don't have to know the full interpretation. It would be better if you did. But if you can't figure out the interpretation within a week or right away, then still pray that you, like if you see it happening like that, pray that you do not go faster than the Lord. Pray for like your will to line up with his will in the name of Jesus. And I pray that for all of y'all. I know that the word that has gone out for this month is that, you know, we're in birthing season and pregnancy. And a lot of us are pregnant and some of us are giving birth. And then, um, but like me and my friend Aaron was talking, like we're not, and I also spoke to Shalana about this. We're not always in the same season. And I do, I do know that, right? Of course, I know that with all the studying that I've done over the years, but I so wanted it to be my season to birth something. And so that's something to keep in mind that we're not always in the same season just because the prophetic word went out about the harvest and everything like that. It depends on what you have been doing before. It depends on how your God shifted your life. Because the way God shifted my life was so drastic where, you know, he made me move to a whole other state where I really didn't know people like that. You know, I didn't know anybody like I didn't have family and stuff like that. And I met Patricia like for the first time. We knew each other online, but I didn't know she was in Texas until like until like I was like ready to go basically like almost ready to go so um and I ain't trust her like that anyway <laughs> so you know I, I was like what you know so sometimes the timing that other people have is not the same timing as you and that's what I learned is like just because you want it to happen doesn't mean that the stuff that you're doing is aiding or helping it happen in God's way. An apostle and a prophetess has said to me, um, you know, stop trying to figure out God. I guess they knew by the spirit. Because <laughs> I didn't say nothing about that. And they were like, stop trying to figure out how God's going to do it. He's going to do what he does. And we cannot... Um, y'all share with y'all followers um, and uh, all that stuff. You can't really figure out what how God is going to do things. Um, it might look like one way. And then he does it a whole different way. So you can't get disappointed. Like I was getting when I would see like, oh, okay, I think this person is going to be the person that maybe he's sending to me to like... Um, help me out in a certain way or give me wisdom or drop gems you know or mentor me um maybe in business you know stuff like that and I would just make assumptions when new people came in I was like I know it's either (laughs) it's either good or evil I I don't think there's a lot of in between so I try to evaluate people and until I know I wait till I connect I, I don't connect with them heavy until I wait and hear from the Lord about that. If I don't hear nothing, that means don't. Don't move on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, people have wanted to connect with me. Right. Right then, y'all. Like, people have wanted to connect with me for business and I don't know really for what purposes. 
if they wanted me to help them or what or whatever it is but I knew that I needed to ask God and I I really didn't hear nothing so I think when you don't hear anything just sit still and 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 wait and this was my biggest lesson this last I guess it's been almost two months or a month and a half is that waiting on God is okay because I wasn't waiting on God before um, I thought I was waiting on God, right? And a lot of people will talk to you about, um, oh, they're tired of these Christian people waiting on God. They're waiting, waiting for God to do this, waiting for God to do that. Well, you have to know what word is, is for you because I was never really waiting. I was never a person that would just wait and wait and wait and wait. I was always the super ambitious person going out and doing it and making things happen for myself. And I still bless God when things happen because I know he gave me the power to do it, right? So I'm not a person that's ungrateful and be like, oh, well, I did it. I did it. I got here myself, blah, 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 blah. But I, I do know that God still gives me the power to do things. So, you know, I, I mean, you have to know that the word fits you or it doesn't. He's in amen. He's expanded your territory. That's amen. Amen. Um, and and I want to hear about that. I mean, I think that God does different things for different people at the right time. Timing matters so much in the Bible, right? There's a time to harvest. There's a time to sow. There's a time to there's a time to kill. There's a time to you know there's there's a time for everything right is that ecclesiastes so we have to know that we are in the birthing season we are in you know that birthing season and harvest but your harvest could be like march my hi blessings um and then my harvest blessings prophetess and then my harvest could be like you know april okay you know, and so whereas someone is literally birthing in this month of nine, right? And this duality, so there's a lot of uh, judgment as well on the enemy. There's judgment going on. So this is a good time to repent for stuff. <laughs> you know, I just been repenting for everything. Just my, my mouth, you know, any any type of speaking unbelief, in my, even in my thoughts, you know. I, re I repent for those things. Oh, okay. You know, you know, I know she's going places. That's good. Tell her I said, tell her I said, congratulations in Jesus name. So I'm, I'm glad for her. I'm glad for her. And that's, that's just a drop in a bucket. She's going to do so much more. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I just got a vision. <laughs> it's like Patricia make fun of me sometimes with visions and, and uh, dreams, especially visions. Um, I think I interrupted it though. <laughs> so yeah, and that that's what was happening a lot too. I would get a lot of visions. I would do like really short naps, like out of nowhere. I would fall asleep. And then I would get these visions and I was getting frustrated because I didn't know how to decipher it. You know, it didn't make sense to me and I would pick it apart and, you know, try to be faithful with it and at least write it down and, you know, go back and look at it. But I was so busy also with just the regular stuff, trying to, yeah, open visions, get, I get a lot of night visions too just trying to get um like kind of when you get a flicker of a picture at night um what like as you're falling asleep it's kind of like going into a trance state 55 55 you saw that i just saw 55 55 thank you lord for your grace and mercy it endures forever in jesus name so yeah when i see the numbers on the highway or whatever i just um decree a thing so um yeah that's why i just wanted to say hi to y'all and you know i know i know now a little more of what i have to do but i'm still 
kind of figuring out what what kind of ministry God wants me to do. Um, and then I was kind of like, I, I told you I was kind of feeling sassy a little bit. I was like, well, I didn't ask to do ministry, God. So if you want me to slow down on that, <laughs> I was slow all the way down. I didn't think I was doing ministry. I didn't think so. So I was slow all the way down. I just believe that we all should pray for each other anyway. But anytime you release revelation, I, I might think it's a small revelation. I might I might think, um, you know, oh, two, two, two. Like everybody knows what that is if you study the Bible, right? I might think that. But there are, I started to realize there were babes in Christ that were coming to the scopes that really didn't know about any of this stuff, right? And they could be dabbling a little bit, you know, one foot in, one foot out. You know how it is when you first get saved, you know, when God is wooing you, calling you. And um, I realized that it that is pretty serious. You do have to um, explain a little bit more. And I'm glad that I do study and I'm prepared for the questions. Amen. But I think... God wanted to also purify my heart because people can lead you astray with, with their requests. People can lead you astray with um, the demands they put on you as well. And um, I wasn't feeling that really yet or anything. But I think before that even became a problem, um, the Holy Spirit would, you know, kind of speak to me about my ways, who I am, what I what I'm here to do, my intentions, um, and just keep me keep me real, you know, keep me authentic. So, I'm saying all that to say that sometimes we're in different seasons. Even though the prophetic word went out, <laughs> you know, like oh, get get something done, get something done now. Hurry up, write a book. Hurry up write a song hurry up um make those recipe you know make those recipes into a book uh hurry up sell more hurry up learn social media hurry up learn you know because once a moment pass you know in the spirit you you know you don't want to miss god you don't want to miss god we hear that a lot and so sometimes that gets to us and it makes us think like okay I have to rush to do this for my career or I have to rush to this do this um to you know earn a living or I have to rush to do this in ministry or whatever it is that you're focusing on but that word yes Danielle is not always for everyone at that moment like maybe you're hearing the word so that it can encourage you you'll remember it down the line and it will encourage you down the line God bless yes long time I, I was talking about why it's been a long time but that's like that's like on the replay you'll you'll see that if you replay but you know um yeah so august was really a time for repentance sanctification um because god does have to clean you out and clean up your ways your thoughts your intentions before before he births something out of you right because you you can sabotage it unknowingly right and it's important not to be prideful and always be able to go back thank you for the hearts i really appreciate it um and share with your followers if you haven't already um i really believe it's important to go back always go back to god always go back to your first love and be like hey how am i doing like am i doing this okay I know what this prophet said. I know what this apostle said. But they just all confuse me sometimes, Lord. So what's your instructions for me? Because they really do. They can't confuse you. Okay? Because the thing is, and that's why we worship God. We don't put all our stock in prophets and apostles. Why? Because they might see a thing that is actually afar off. Right? They don't know how many years. Unless they're very seasoned. And they know, how, like how they prophesy like oh when i prophesy something something usually comes to pass within three to five years you know what i'm saying unless they're seasoned and they know that timeline and stuff like that 
then they're prophesying to you and they're like you need to you're gonna start a business god is saying da, da, da. but they never tell you go and do it right now you know what i'm saying so they usually don't give uh, uh very specific instructions okay very specific instructions after that um and so you still have to go back to god you still have to say father in the name of Jesus, if this prophecy is something I need to act on now, show me, reveal it unto me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Now, God has told me a lot of things ahead of time that I didn't understand why, but by faith, I would start a certain website. I would go and pay for it anyway, even though I'm not doing anything with it, because he, he gave me the name, you know what I mean? And there's no name. There's a business of selling domain names, like... You know, us in the kingdom, we really have to, like, get on things like this. So I was like, well, if God is giving me this new this name, like, years ago, he gave me a few names. Um, and I didn't know why. But now I think it's starting to unfold that he might have meant it for ministry for me. Like, I, I would have been like, oh, like, then I was like, oh, that, that'd be a good church name for somebody who have a church or something like that. I'll sell it to them. You know, I'll sell it to them at a cheaper rate. But he might have meant that for me. I still don't know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's a cool name. That's a nice domain name, you know, for an organization or whatever. I'm going to buy it. I'm, I'm telling you legit. I'm giving you a legit example. Because this, uh, this was like four years ago already. That I remember I was in the bathroom and he gave me that. I mean, God can speak to you all kinds of different places and every, you know, all different times. So he's he's really amazing you know so we don't always know his timing right amen but he's still going to do it he's still going to do it he did not lie he he promised us some things um that we know we already have access to right but sometimes it takes a little extra to you know kind of pray into what you want pray into you know just agree with God it takes extra out of you just to agree with God not to me not so much extra to get it because the promise is already mine hi how you doing um prophet Miller um so you know the blessings are already there in the spirit but the violent take it by force right shalom so we, we have to know when our time is. And, you know, I'm so blessed and thankful for com completely sold out people of Christ around me. You know, even as they're learning, they're teaching me. And even as I'm learning. So some of us are advanced in certain areas. We might know more than another about deliverance. We might know more than another um, another one of your prophetic friends. You might know more uh, about healing than them. You know, they might be on a level where they can't believe God for healing for all. Even though his word says that. No matter how old you are. No matter how young you are. No matter how beat up your body is. No, ma no matter what you've been through in your body. Like, I believe in complete healing. I've seen God do it. And some of us, yes, iron sharpens iron. And I, I'm just blessed. So some some people that you're around might not even believe like that. Right? And then you find out, you're like, whoa. It doesn't mean they're not Christian. Right? Um, but they haven't got the revelation yet. And is it a revelation? Is it that deep? Yes, it is that deep. Because when you know... For example, that thing, like how deliverance operates, or when you know how healing operates, or when you know how to uh, deal with those African spirits, right? That some people have not, like, ever encountered, for example. Wow, and you were healed, right? And, you know, it is a revelation. It's new because you're praying... You're praying in a new way. Now you're commanding it. You're not like, oh, Jesus, please heal this person. Please. No, we. you already died on the cross for our sins. You already paid the price with your blood. I don't care if he's 80-something. I don't care if she's 90-something. I don't care. Yes, they're going to die eventually, right? But I can still pray by my faith and believe that they can be healed. 
I'm believing for healing for my mom still now. I've never given up on that. And I'm, I'm not going to ever give up on that. And God told me he would, ex- through a prophet, he would extend the years on her life. And I believe it. And I stand on his word. And I expect him to fulfill his word. I didn't know I was teaching, but thank you. <laughs> Amen. You know, we're just having a conversation, right? Like, I expect him to fulfill his word. When people say, well pray God's will. God's will is in the Bible. That's the instruction book. He already gave it to us. He already gave it to us. We like pray, pray, only pray God's will because, you know, he might will the person to, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Stressing you out, Patricia. Patricia knows she want to talk. She knows she want to. <laughs> you say you listen to the Lord. <laughs> So, you know, when people, she's so funny. I can't wait till Patricia start doing scopes. It's going to be awesome. She's an amazing teacher. She's an amazing woman of God. She's so funny. <laughs> I think I just laugh at her, Lord. But <laughs> she might be like, I'm not trying to be funny. But I just <laughs> laugh at her. But um, we know at least we're on the same page with something. And when we're not, we can talk about it. But we do want to learn more. Like, this prophetic, you know, we've seen so much foolery. She's probably seen more than me because I don't go on their scopes when I feel like, ooh, wait, something look wrong. I don't really... She look for them stuff. And then for her... I can't hear you, Patricia. They can't hear you. Um, you become like you, ha- yeah, you become like who you hang around. So for my friends who, my prophetic friends who don't have a revelation of, yes, God's will is to heal. He did not put any of these sicknesses or diseases upon us. That's what he said in his word. So I can only just believe his word, whether you're reading it in the Greek or the Hebrew. It says that it points to the same thing that his blood covered that his blood covered that already. So why am I going to be like, oh, Jesus, uh, if you will him to be. Now, if the person passes away anyway, you've done your best. But I'm certainly not going to be the type to sit back and be like, well, I don't know. Maybe God wants him to die. You saw some foolishness last night. Some guys. Oh, my God. I don't know. that Activating Archangel Uriel. I don't know how. I don't know how. That's what I'm saying. I just can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Patricia sees it a lot more than me. I don't. I don't even see a lot of it. And then the few I listen to, sometimes I'm like, mm, no, I, I. That's incorrect by the word. But I, you know, I support them because I know that we're all in different stages and we're all learning new things about how God works. So it doesn't mean they're in witchcraft or they're um, uh, in complete error. Well, yeah, I guess it would be an error. But, yeah, some, some teachings are... And some people are so popular and they're teaching like crazy stuff. I don't like, whoa, what? <laughs> um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't... I was like, mm, yeah, I was like, I don't know about that one. <laughs> And this activating and activation and activation. I know my apostle teaches, and his name is Curry Blake, if you ever want to look him up, what he teaches. Um, he's like, we're already activated. We're already activated. Sometimes you need deliverance. Sometimes you need deliverance to really walk in your promise. But you're going to walk in it when God wants you to. Especially when you have a high calling. I really believe, like... You know, if you ask God to order your steps, he's already ordering it. He's already ordering it. And even, uh, let me even go the next step to say, he put it in your heart to pray, for, for you to pray to order your steps. Sometimes I'm praying a thing and I'm like, God, I know you put that on my heart because that is a big prayer. That is pretty big. And that's not really my desire's naturally sure you can call in i did i activate that um try and let's see i don't know if i activated it when um i'm just doing all the buttons here (laughs) um try try and let me see if i um did that 
Um, are you trying? DC? No faces. Oh, I gotta stop and restart. Okay, I could do that real quick. Let me get off real quick and stop and restart. Okay, I'm gonna do it real quick. 